Hello my dear ones, this is a timeless near personal love and spirituality reading for whomever is guided to watch it with me Queen of Cups Tarot. Take note that the reading can be in the reverse for some of you. Uh, I wish you to like and subscribe to my channel to help my channel grow and stay vigorous and healthy on YouTube. Also be sure to put on the bell notification, notifications so you do not miss any of my videos when I'm posting them. Some of you do no longer get notification from my videos even if you have chosen to have the notification bell on and I'm sorry for that and I put up a troubleshoot on my community section to solve this. And if you need more information or help after you have listened to this reading you can turn to the love readings for Pisces season that is up. Pisces season starts today when I'm launching this video. You can also check out the pick a card and near personal readings on the first page of my channel. Click my little Queen of Cups icon here and you will come to this first page. I will start shuffling your cards and I use the Witches Tarot with Ellen Cannon Reed. So when I open your deck here I see the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse together with the Four of Pentacles. So it seems like... Um, um, I'm getting the sense here that someone wants to show that they are worthy but in the same time they don't want to be judged as either worthy or not worthy. So it's like a person that wants to do uh, their best effort uh, but since they are feeling judged by people in their surrounding they are not being able to shine their best light they are instead staying kind of in their comfort zone and not spreading their wings or uh, trying out new things or uh, following their dreams or um, <laughs> telling people what they really feel about them uh, if they love them for example they don't want to 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 say because um, it's like this person doesn't feel good enough. So it might be you that has these feelings that you don't, you are not good enough. So you don't dare to spread your wings and follow your dreams. So uh, I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the ace of swords in the reverse with the four of pentacles. So I'm actually thinking we are talking about a person that you are mirroring yourself uh, into and that this person isn't truthful about what's going on with them so they are um they really want to do their best here but they are not uh, able to uh, because they need to hide themselves from the world's uh, gazing eyes and judgmental view so for this person probably other people's opinion uh, is uh, very important uh, so they shy away from uh, the other words opinion so they won't be able to to judge them so that is what i'm feeling so i call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have death in the reverse with the four of pentacles uh, death is 13 one plus three is four so both these cards are connected to uh, the emperor um so it's about power and control and here i feel like it's a person that's unwilling to change because if you ask them to change that is also telling them that they are not good enough uh, so it's kind of just putting more uh, oil <laughs> on the flames or on the waves i don't know how you are doing that but it's adding to the problem that was already there that they felt judged and not good enough and maybe not really fitting in uh, into what the society wants of them so i call the six elements and here we have the five of pentacles in the reverse with the death in the reverse so this person doesn't want to feel uh, unworthy they don't want to feel like a failure all the time uh, so it seems like they kind of don't even try uh, i'm not saying that this person is self-destructive i think uh, they kind of have um, their things together, uh, but um, they refuse to do certain necessary things uh, because it's like they don't want to try and fail or they don't want to do what you are telling them to do or what the world is telling them to do. It's just like they are refusing to, uh, to follow any kind of uh, guidance or directions from people in their surrounding. 
because they don't want to follow their rules. They don't want to have this stress of having to live up to their expectations. They don't want to have the stress of uh, not being good enough or always being valued maybe as the bad one or the person that can't really follow through with their promises or being successful or whatever it is that they feel like they are not able to be in other people's eyes. Most certainly in their own eyes too, they are failing. So, so six elements, earth, twin, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear viewers. And we have the queen of swords here with the six of wands in reversed. Um, so I'm feeling that it might be that you have also judged them very harshly in the recent past or in the far past. Um, and uh, you were probably entitled to do so because it was like you were looking through their... I'm thinking this person showed up a little bit of a posh personality. Um, they didn't want to admit to the feelings of feeling like a failure, so they kind of made a grand grandiose picture of themselves. And, and you cut through this image that they have of themselves, or maybe they had been able to make you admire them or respect them. Uh, but here this fell through. Uh, it's like you saw right through them, like you took off their mask. And I think you took off their mask and you did like this. So it was like rubber bands and it smacked back on their face. <laughs> so I'm seeing so funny pictures when I'm reading this, uh, these readings. But um, so I think you, you had enough basically with this person and you did the thing that they feared the most. But I think this was kind of what was necessary. It's usually like this when we fear something very much, it's what's happening until we learn to not fear it so much and become more chill with it. And yeah, yeah, that's old thing that always happens. And then we also learn to to take charge and make the best out of the situation. For example, if, if you are super scared of abandonment, for example, and you get abandoned and abandoned and abandoned and abandoned, and eventually, uh, to survive you need to learn to love yourself and and you start to laugh at this people that's abandoning you because you realize that it's so ridiculous like it's it's it can't be a coincidence it's your pattern uh, so you realize that it's kind of a game or it's a play so you you learn to detach yourself from the abandonment and and you learn to kind of do your own thing and love yourself and and put a lot of worthiness in, in you just being you. So that's when you start to really heal. And, and that's when abandonment is not an issue for you anymore. People can come or they can go. It's up to them. You, you take care of you. Um, and for this person, it's not abandonment per se. It's maybe abandonment in the bottom of it all. But uh, the main concern for this person seems to be to be judged as not good enough. And that might, of course, lead to abandonment. But I think for this person, they seem to mostly protect themselves from other people's opinions. So they, it's like they're doing like this on their own ears and on their own eyes. Like they don't want to see and they don't want to hear what you have to say about them. Okay, it's my way or the highway. <laughs> so that's uh, the way that they are dealing with this right now. But since they are so fearful of other people judging them, uh, of course, other people will judge them. Even a person like yourself that might have put an honor into not judging them. Maybe you saw their their pain and their weakness and you didn't want to judge them. So you gave them uh, maybe a lot of support. But then eventually you realize that this person is maybe not self-destructive, but they are not helping. So you took their mask and <laughs> uh, it's still funny <laughs> when I'm seeing it. Okay, so I'll just tune in here for a few seconds to, to you and your situation with this, um, with this person and their troubles. Uh, so, um, I need to move this. <laughs> I'm sorry, symmetry seems to be very important for tarot readers. Okay, uh, so... Uh, this will be your future or this person's future. We seem to, it seems like the divine wants to explain 
for you another person's character and what's making them tick or not tick at all not it's like they're breaking down a little bit or are not able to function properly maybe in your relationship and they want to give you the reasons so you will understand better how to deal with this when you are being dealing with people like this okay and so this is in the past and we have the high priestess in the reverse with the queen of cups and the five of wands um so this feels like it's you and this is the other person um they have a little bit trouble with their feminine side uh, i think they like it but it seems like their feminine side has become very revolutionary okay their masculine side can probably function pretty well in the world uh, so they can uh, appear as they have a good confidence and they can appear uh, like they have their shit together uh, but their feminine side is the side that's making the rebellion is what I'm feeling and um, they are a little bit scared of their feminine side and uh, in the same time they they like this rebellious uh, nature with themselves I think uh, that part of their femininity is a little bit uh, uh, oppressed uh, so they might have a little bit problems with her hearing their very keen intuition they have a very good intuition it's just that they might not hear it because they are in this stubborn mood of um, doing revolution uh, and here we have the queen of cups which i'm thinking is you it doesn't matter what sign you are it just shows this what i felt before with the queen of swords and the six of wands that you were empathic at a point in the past um, and and you kind of supported this person while they were acting a little bit like a clown maybe and there was really conflicts and betrayal in this situation a, a lot of tower moments and um, uh, you were wobbling between giving a lot having boundaries giving a lot having boundaries giving a lot having boundaries so I think it was a little bit imbalanced the relationship maybe worked on some level but it was uh, imbalanced and it was like it's um, went on crutches or like a reel that has some problems so it's it's jumping like this so things didn't go really smooth and uh, things wasn't really comfortable uh, but I think your empathy kind of kept the show uh, going and you might have had a lot of patience with this person so sometimes you gave a lot and tried to fix it uh, but then you got maybe a little bit cranky if the other person just was making revolution and creating a little bit of difficulties in the relationship uh, so you might have oscillated a little bit and trying to put boundaries but I think you cared a lot for this person so you had a little bit trouble with that uh, so this is in the now and we have the hangman so the hangman is uh, 12 and 1 plus 2 is 3 we have the high priestess before that's 2 this is 3 we also have the 10 of swords and 3 of pentacles and 2 of pentacles so uh, I'm seeing here that <laughs> both the divine and maybe you are, are trying to still make this person change and they don't really have to change that much. Uh, what they need to do is, is kind of to learn to love themselves and to be a part of. Instead of thinking that the world is against them. So though they kind of need to be against the world a little bit on certain areas. Not on all areas. But on certain areas they, they kind of revolt. Um, hmm. um, this person has a problem with responsibility. Uh, but it's because they feel like if they do things in a certain kind of way, people will always say that, oh, why did you do it in that way? I, you should have done it in this way. It's so much better. And they are so sick and tired of hearing this thing. But in the same time, I think it's, it's like the world was only, already put on a certain display here for this person. They were coming into a certain context, sorry, where they had to, uh, they came in a certain context where people had their uh, roles. Like you are, are supposed to do this, you're supposed to do that. Uh, and it's like there was no place for them where they could shine and be better than anyone else. 
uh, so uh, they they always felt inferior so uh, since all the good places was already taken they could only be good in being maybe revolutionary or you know against everything that anyone suggested or uh, they could also have been um, kind of taking the role as the black sheep in the family or society uh, just because the, all the other roles was taken and it's it's almost like the, I'm seeing a, a situation here where there's a young couple uh, a male and a female and the male has this kind of pattern from their childhood while the, the girl has had this upbringing with being the good girl so she has gotten the role of being the good girl uh, this male unfortunately has had the role of being the, the the bad boy or the black sheep in in their family and they might not have really liked that role because it didn't really fit them because it, it's it's really a mag magnificent person two magnificent persons i'm seeing in front of me and um, but since they got this role of the black sheep and now they are trying to make this new family with this girl and maybe they are having a baby and uh, when they are going to put the diapers and other things doing stuff with the baby the the good girl is coming and saying no do don't do like that do like this and don't do like that do like this and this person that has been had the role in their original family as the one that you know couldn't teach anyone else anything they will become as rebellious in this relationship as they were when they were a kid um, so how to get get um, on the right side with this. I think the best thing in, in just this situation and in similar situation like this, either it's a male or a female that has the black sheep role, uh, is to let the person, uh, you know, uh, find their own way of doing things with just a little bit of guidance or saying, hi, I would want it like this, but you can do it however you want. So the person can figure out for themselves how it's the best way to put on the diapers and, and um, experience a lot of problems maybe when things are not uh, being contained in a proper manner. <laughs> and also let them deal with the consequences of this. Um, when they scream, oh, it's poop everywhere, <laughs> don't go there and save them. Just like, oh, oh, okay, so what, what a mess. Okay, hope you figure it out. I'm preoccupied here with this. Uh, so that you don't go in and, and save them. Let them do this for themselves. Let them fix it uh, for themselves. When it's more major things where a person is more self-destructive, they may be um, destroying the family's economy or uh, taking drugs or whatever is going on, it's a little bit more problematic. And there you, of course, need to do uh, certain measures to protect uh, yourself and and also the economy of the family both in the drug addiction situation and in the person having a trouble with maintaining their their money in both this situation money will be an issue uh, so um, let the person see to that you protect yourself and let this person take the uh, the consequences of their behavior as much as you can without you know really like ditching them it seems like they're still your family or still your person so uh, you still want you want to help them but you want to help them in a way where they can figure it out themselves so uh, you don't have to do it for them and they can find their role they need to have a role and not uh, hopefully not the role of the martyr not the role of the black sheep not the role of the drama queen <laughs> and all these kind of roles you don't want them to have that you want to have let them have like a responsible role something they are good at so and when they are really good at at something try to give them a little bit praise as well like this is something that you do really good and I maybe you can teach me maybe you can show me or maybe you can do this for me for a while because I'm so bad at it <laughs> you know you can help them in different ways and this is the future here and we are still talking about this crappy self-esteem that needs to be dealt with and we have the star card here and the eight of swords um, and the emperor in the reverse. It doesn't seem like an easy journey here. Um, the divine can help, but the person needs to kind of help themselves, freeing themselves from uh, old patterns and ideas 
because I think they're the bad role that they have played have given them certain amount of power, destructive power, but still power. And if they're going to get closer to become heal, uh, they need to actually maybe uh, let that power go. For example, the power of being the big martyr or um, creating drama or whatever we are doing. Um, if we can let this power go and replace it with self-love and self-respect so that is what this person needs to have help with to 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 find ways to start to respect themselves and usually we respect ourselves more when we are able to overcome challenges and um, you know excel in something so if this person could don't save them from their challenges uh, if they can overcome these challenges that is what will give them this great self-esteem so uh past and we have the fool here uh so uh someone that <laughs> i'm feeling again that this person they they see they have this paper here and they see that all the roles the good roles are already filled uh, so they can be the class clown or they can be, you know, the stupid person that always ends up in an accident, like they're clumsy. Uh, or they can be the person that, you know, everyone else is trying to do something good and be nice towards people. And this person comes in in the living room and makes inappropriate jokes, like jokes that's not really funny. So it's like a person trying to find their role uh, where where everyone all the other roles are taken but it's not going particularly well and we have a ten of wands uh, so again this person they were their own person when they came and if people hadn't you know giving them a role or a box to live in they would have been able to imprint themselves on the world but the world was kind of telling them that this is you uh, you you look like this and you have these uh, traits and this is good with you and this is bad with you. So I think the person never had the chance to find out who they really were. They just tried to fit into a blueprint that was already given to them. Uh, so, and next here, it's a Prince of Pentacles in the reverse. So this person wanted love and appreciation like everyone else. Uh, but they couldn't get it because they didn't find something within their role that they could shine within. Like they could do something that was good and people would appreciate them. So they might have turned to alternative sources to get appreciation. Like if you can't be loved, at least you want to be respected. And if you can't be respected, then you want to be feared. So it might be that this person has maybe searched for appreciation in all the wrong places or um, maybe that you would start to appreciate them because uh, <laughs> sometimes we like people that are a little bit difficult if someone isn't agreeing with us and always making a little bit of trouble for us we might want try a little bit harder to agree with this person or make them agree with us and I think this is a little bit what this person found found that if I can challenge people, uh, they will try to make it up to me. They will try to get, if I don't want to be close to them, they will try to be close to me. If I'm rejecting them, they will run after me. If I'm um, not helping in this situation, they will do my share. Um, so <laughs> I, I saw this in a movie. Someone said, oh, I'm so bad at it. Maybe it was the 70s show and... Um, maybe the young son in the family gave direction how to not have to follow their girlfriend shopping, for example. I'm so bad at it. <laughs> so I think something like this is what this person have been doing here. And we have the two of cups. So it's very difficult to love a person like that. Um, uh, they are kind of uh, causing a lot of troubles. Uh, in this situation and they don't really let you come close to them so even if they love you they kind of run away from you and uh, this person also probably felt the same like that they couldn't be loved enough so that maybe you were up here and they were down here and they could never be worthy of you but it's also like they were up here and running away from you and you were trying to hello wasn't we supposed to you know do this together 
Um, so, and here we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So this person has a really hard time letting people close to them. Um, so everything is not fake with them per se, but they are playing roles and uh, doing things to manipulate people in situation to, to get what they want. It's almost like a person that has to beg for bread but instead of begging for bread they steal it when you're not looking so i'm not saying this person is a thief but um if they can't get your your love probably they have your love they just don't know it because they don't think they are worthy of it but if they um if they want your love they might find alternative methods to maybe make you for example sad or upset so that they will have proof that you love them because I think they have a lot of maybe you tell them that you love them and you show them that you love them but they don't believe in you anyway uh, so they don't let you really close because they don't want to get hurt uh, and they also are not um, trusting you uh, even if you show that you love them they don't trust uh, trust you so they might keep you like on an arm's length distance so that you will be fearful that the relationship will end in some way and that will make you chase them a little bit and they will act very unavailable. So this is, this is a person that have trouble with the world and trouble with themselves. They haven't found their place. They haven't found a foundation which they can feel safe on. Like this is me and I'm respected, I'm loved, I'm appreciated, at least by myself. That's where we need to start. Uh, so, and this is in the now, and we have a Prince of Wands coming underneath the Fool. So this person wants uh, everything that you want. They want love, appreciation, fun things to happen. They want adventure, social situations, all like this. Even if they act like they don't want it, um, because they are kind of hiding away here. Um, but they they really do want it. And maybe it's like this, they, they run away, they close the door. And then when, when you are not there and, and knocking on their door, they are thinking, okay, so where did he or she went? So they go outside and, and looking for you. That's what I'm feeling here. Uh, and here we have, I think this is you, uh, Nine of Pentacles. So now the roles are a little bit reversed. And I'm thinking this is how it goes with this situation. We saw it also here uh, where you were uh, sometimes showing you know, um, trying to help them and be a good support. And sometimes you started to get tired of them and put boundaries towards them. And now I think you have gotten tired because they dissed you in some way. Um, and um, so you have come to terms maybe that you need to live without them and their appreciation and their respect because they don't seem to give it to you. Uh, so here you are learning to love yourself and to take care of yourself. And here this person is coming like from behind here, sneaking up a little bit. Um, yes. And uh, we have a six of cups uh, in the reversed. Uh, so I'm thinking this person wants here uh, some kind of reconciliation, like they went too far with something and, and they didn't want you to disappear from them. They just wanted to play this game. Uh, so they would get this love and respect and appreciation, but in a false way, they were kind of triggering you, kind of pushing your buttons. So you would be maybe sad and upset and uh, feel scared. Uh, and, and that's how they kind of uh, pulled um, the strings with you and making you dance, monkey dance. <laughs> so, so here, I think they went a little bit too far. They want to reconcile, but... Um, here it seems like you are looking out in nothing and you have given up I think so I don't think you feel like reconciliation is a super like you don't have much hope that it will be any better probably you're right and here we have the two of swords and it comes underneath two of cups so two of swords I'm, I'm feeling a situation where the person is hurt because you probably declined their invitation. We'll see what's happening here. Seven chakra, arch angel Uriel. Okay. Um, I think that you are supposed to decline their offer. 
not in a rude way and not to like to hell with you nothing like that try to be with this rather diplomatic and um uh, you know that they played game with you maybe play the game a little bit back even if that's not your style you need to learn how to deal with this person and their fears in a way that will challenge them to face their fears and deal with their issues and it's best that they can do this if you challenge them a little bit so don't be overly nice in this situation with those this combination i think be Listen to the divine, the instincts that you get, uh, like the insights. You might, uh, uh, you know, walk down the street and you, you notice that you are quarreling with this person in your head. Um, take up your phone or remember to yourself what's your conclusion. So maybe pick up your phone, uh, read into the phone, tell that, okay, so I think this person is going to contact me. They're going to say this. This is what I'm going to answer. So it's like you have a little bit war with yourself <laughs> inside your head with this person, but they are, it's an imaginary conflict or imaginary conversation. But it's, I think it's like angel radio coming through, telling you for how to deal with this situation and to maybe um, say the right things and maybe be able to practice on doing things a little bit differently from how you have dealt with this before. So don't throw yourself in this in this person's arms rather uh, be a little bit held back and and be ready to uh, to protect yourself a little bit okay and here we have the princess of cups and it comes in the reversed so um what i'm feeling here is that you still have an interest for of, of this person either it's a love partner it's a family member a friend or a job offer or some kind of offer uh, you still want this but uh, you you shouldn't show it over like overly much try to keep it a little bit for yourself your uh, blossoming feelings here um, we know here in the past you oscillated between the page of coins and the two of wands here we have the two of swords and the princess of cups so it's like play your cards a little bit better this time uh, try to challenge this person a little bit more and uh, give them harder and harder lessons for every time uh, they want to try to reconcile with you and try to or when you're trying to work things together like heighten the if you had the the ribbon like the um, threshold here before that the only thing they needed to do was actually to show up Next time, the only thing they really need to do is to show up and to have, um, you know, a nice energy with them. So not being angry when they are showing up uh, at your door. Uh, so now you have two. And the next time, it's not, it's showing up, not being angry and maybe um, offering something like, hey, see, I, I have bought dinner to you or I will cook dinner or I will take you out to dinner. So you're putting higher and higher demands on this person and it can be different demands. It can be, for example, um, this person seems like a little bit covert, like a little bit hiding themselves, not telling what they want. Maybe if they want something here from you, they need to tell what it is. And if they don't tell this, you don't give anything to them. And so that's, you have heightened your, before you gave it, even if they didn't tell you the things maybe you needed to hear because you have needs too. Uh, so this is in the future and we have a king of wands in the reverse. Seems like they are getting pissed with you. <laughs> okay. So we have a king of wands here, king of pentacles, the Capricorn a Leo. So um, it, it feels like uh, the intensity with these two sides. Uh, it's like they're equal forces. No one wants to yield. Okay. Um, so, and here we have a king of swords and it comes here a little bit underneath your row. You understand that, uh, they had issues, you know, you understand that they had to live in this role. You understand that their upbringing and their earlier life and this experience have put a mark on them, but you realize also that they need to figure out themselves who they are. They can't, uh, uh, you know, expect you to help them figuring out who they are or put some label on them. Uh, so 
you, you have a great understanding here of this person. Uh, but here, even if you have this great understanding, they need to get it too. So they need to start to put in the work to figure out themselves. It's not up to you to uh, saying to them that this is what I've been figuring out with you. I've studied you, you know, week after week, evening after evening. I have fig tried to figure out what's wrong with you. And this is what I, I came up with. So it's not your job. It's your job, maybe, uh, to figure out this for yourself so you know what you have to deal with. But remember that this person don't want to hear other people's opinion of them. So you don't have to tell your opinion of them. You can tell them your needs. Like, this is what I need from you. And this person can figure out themselves how to grow so much, you know, evolve so much that they can actually become... Um, a person that can give this to another person. It's about growth and matu maturity. Right now, this person might just, they haven't had anything triggering them or pushing them into figuring out themselves. What's wrong with me? Why am I acting like this? Why did I do this towards this person? How could I behave like this? Nothing has triggered them because it seems like your understanding and empathy and how you have dealt with this person has been like a shield for them. So they have never been challenged enough to figure it out for themselves. And here you are much stronger with the King of Swords at this place. Uh, so even if they are the air sign, this is you. Because you have learned now um, where your boundaries are at by self-love. Uh, so you are going to... Um, ask them for more and uh, you're not going to give them direction how to do this it's more like this is the law of this relationship uh, it needs to be open communication I need to have these and these needs met and if that's not the case uh, the law of this relationship says like the law that you have in your emotions you have like a sense of justice says that there can be no relationship as long as um, you don't take this serious or uh, you don't uh, work with your issues or figuring out why this is repeatedly happening, why you are destroying the relationship like this. As long as this is like this, I can't engage. So you need to be a little bit, like a little bit cold here and, you know, not spill your emotions all over the place. Um, two of swords, king of swords and this princess of cups in the reverse. Hold back a little bit of your emotions uh, you have so much dreams with this person and how good things could be if they would just apply themselves. But they aren't. And they are not even trying. They are trying the opposite because they are trying to find their role. Uh, so uh, let them figure out their role. And if they want you, if they want to have something here to get with you, they are longing for you or having some kind of inspiration that they want to um, mix with you in some way. <laughs> You don't have to give it to them. You can live without. You have learned here to live without. And um, you're probably a rather exhausted is what I'm feeling. Uh, this ten of wands. You have figured out your problems, their problems, the whole world's problems. Well, they just caused more problems. So it hasn't been easy. And now this is helping you to be a little bit more cold. And <clears throat> Princess of Swords, and it comes underneath Prince of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. So this is not only having boundaries and being cold and knowing your worth. Uh, this is kind of like your father telling you that don't take this other drink. Don't go with that uh, boy or that girl. They are trouble. <laughs> so this is um, the boring side of you. But you need it right now. And this is the Princess of Swords. So she is the one that maybe steered the pot a little bit. So here, um, your advice to maybe say things that you haven't dared to say before. So even if your teeth are rattling and your knees are shaking, uh, tell your truth. Don't speak so much about this other person like you are like this or you are like that. Tell like, uh, I can't be in this situation because what I need, I need to be able to trust the person. I need to be able to talk about problems. I need to have be able to have open communication. I need to know what's going on with you when I don't have these things. So that kind of truth from your perspective, what you can take responsibility for, what you have, um, what you have a saying over, like I, I can do this, I can't do this. So those kind of truths. 
uh, is coming out here and this person is pissed <laughs> here they were covert and now they're pissed <laughs> and then we have the universe in the reverse so it's the world card coming underneath the two of cups and the two of swords and this is uh, the universe is 21 here you have 12 both of these are three uh, so this would be the next step if this could it's like um, an entanglement this person is entangled and and they want to stay entangled and you are trying to figure out how to entangle like take them out of there but they are not figuring this out uh, so here it says take a pulse don't try to fix them don't try to figure it out for them um, do your own stuff here you know um, if you can't get closure with this person for example because they they are a little bit they are difficult uh, try to find closure within yourself you know have these discussions that you had uh, try to figure out what's what's your standpoint what are your values in this uh, your moral codes how do you want this situation to be and how is it what can you say yes to what do you say no to so try to figure this out for yourself it's like you need to come to a certain level of closure for yourself um, so you can uh, either you know have this situation end in a positive on a positive note or in a negative note it doesn't matter you got a lot of out of this situation anyway like, like you learned something new about the new type of people or maybe you know went deeper into a certain personality type and being able to understand them better you were also not so inclined to turn the other cheek immediately and here you le learn to get your own closure is what i'm feeling so it doesn't matter you don't have to beg this person for anything because you can fix it yourself you can figure it out yourself and the next card is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups in this uh, this uh, particular deck is a little bit mysterious. So it kind of says that uh, the love between you two uh, will continue being there. But I'm not sure you will uh, be uh, super close. Uh, because uh, this person is still making revolution towards you and accepting the role maybe as the black sheep. Uh, and uh, even if it's this kind of love between you, it, it doesn't feel like you can come together either as friends or lovers or whatever it is. I think this person needs to have more time to mature and, and you, uh, you can, you know, <laughs> use this time to your own spiritual growth. It's super boring, I know. But I don't see the, the bond between you going anyway. It's still there. It's not going to end or... Uh, be disrupted it's just that you are not adding what you add before so now these kings are kind of equally strong I'm, I'm saying this is the other person and this is you but it's it's so many different things like because a la Kesha la Kim the other person is you but it's your own shadow um, so um, I'm thinking like this that when you learn this to stand up for yourself and not be so soft anymore uh, you're two strong kings that's standing in opposition like this and um, that will make this love relationship not being able to bloom it's still there like everything is still there nothing has gone away like no one has been able to get over the other person or forget their best friend or forget that they had a sister or brother or mother or a child <laughs> so it's not like that it's just that um it's two people being equally stubborn and no one wants to yield uh, so take control over the things that you can control here and let the other person know what's your issue with them uh, not labeling them but telling them what you needed and what you didn't get and let this person figure it out for themselves remember what i said in the beginning they need challenges they need challenges to be able to grow they need to have figured things out you can't serve it to them on a silver platter they will just do, do like this with this silver platter they don't want it so uh, let them do their own mistakes you know having the putting the diaper on the baby um, back and forth and having poop all over the place like it's let them fix it while you are focusing on you and and your self-love 
So I'll see if there's another advice for you from the uh, Angel Answers oracles. Uh, there's something better and yes <laughs> so um, it feels like you have all this love for this person and you don't want it okay because they are super difficult so this is saying that there's something better it might be that there's a better person for you out there uh, and and the yes card is coming to say that um there's there might be a better person out there for you like someone that you can deal with right now uh, sometimes we are so drawn towards this person that is the difficult one and we forget about the people that's actually there for us so it might be that you need to focus your time and love and energy towards people that actually share this kind of love towards you even if it's not as exciting as passionate might be a little bit more boring but uh, do this, honor these people that are nice to you, that are so boring because they are nice. They are not challenging you. They are not putting you in a, in, in a spot. They are not creating havocs and waves. Um, so put your effort there. And what I'm seeing is uh, two things, that there's something better. It can be that you will actually found someone new and you will forget about this whole situation because you grow so much here so that is one thing i'm seeing but i'm also seeing that this person uh, can be better this relationship could be better so it's those two roads forward and i can't tell you which one it's going to be for you um, or or maybe for anyone because this is so far into the future as we can see but it just says that if you do this job with honoring yourself and getting to know yourself so so good and taking responsibility for what you can take responsibility for accept the things that you can't change like the other person's uh, um, what they are putting into this equation you can't change that accept it what's left do the equation and 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 work on building your own life as happy and as solid as possible and then wait and see either this person will figure it out how to put on the diapers correctly to not make a mess or you will find someone new that will make you forget about this situation and you will finally be able to kind of move on okay <laughs> so i hope this helps and i want you to take really good care and I will come back with some more near personal readings and then uh, I will do uh, the love readings for every season in the end of February. So until then, take really good care and bye bye.